It's a big day today, Butter Buds. Today, it's Penny Lane's third birthday. We're celebrating with all her best friends, especially Gonzo there. She's wearing her favorite color orange. We're keeping it themed for October. And we are using Rachel Ray's recipe today. I love you, Rachel Ray, and this one's for you. Today's recipe isn't only for dogs, it's for us humans too. We're all gonna be eating for Penny's birthday. It's called Daitalini and Mutt Balls. For the dogs, for the humans. Let's start. For the Daitalini and Mutt Balls recipe today, we have our ingredients right here. You're going to need six cups of chicken broth, salt and pepper, third fourth pound of ground beef, you could use veal or pork as well, two large eggs, one fourth cup of shredded chopped carrots, one third cup of grated Parmigiano Reggiano, third cup of breadcrumbs, black pepper, half a pound of Daitalini pasta, which is just under one cup of Daitalini pasta. So in a large saucepan over at our oven, we're gonna add our six cups of chicken broth and we're gonna bring that up to a boil and we're gonna add a little dash of salt. Starting with turning our oven up on a high, we're gonna add our chicken broth at a high heat and bringing it up to a boil. Once it's up to a boil, we're going to add a dash of salt. So as this comes up to a boil, I'm gonna add a little bit of salt and we're gonna bring it down to a simmer and let that rest and go on to making our mutt balls. So now for our ingredients for the mutt balls. We're gonna add all these ingredients and make them into one inch meatballs. Starting with our ground beef, third fourth of a pound, a third cup of our breadcrumbs, two eggs, third of a cup of Parmesan. I've shredded a little more for us humans because you might need a little more. Our shredded carrot. And we're gonna add our pepper to season. In a nice large bowl, just like this, I've added all my ingredients and we're gonna mix them up. With our hands, get your hands in there. Oh, Penny, you are gonna like this. She's heard the cheese, butter buds really basic ingredients, so I'm excited to try this. That's what I love about you, Rachel Ray, is that you don't just include the humans. You're always thinking of the fur babies. Very important. I can't thank you enough. This is my first time making this recipe, so I saved it for Penny's birthday, and I saved it for you, Rachel Ray. Smells good. Okay. After we've mixed that in quite well, we're gonna make it into one inch meatball size. So, not too big, remember. Everything's in there. Because Penny is so small, I think one inch is a little too big. So I might be cutting them up <laughs> a little more for Penny. But just like that depending on the size of your dog, but what do you make, Butter Buds, for your dogs? I'm curious. Definitely check Rachel Ray out because she has tons of recipes for our fur babies. Really interesting ones. I definitely will be doing another one, but I'm trying this one out. I thought this was amazing that us humans and dogs can eat this. It's not just for dogs. We're just gonna add a little bit of pepper, bringing them over to our simmering chicken broth. We're gonna add them in one by one and let it simmer for five minutes. Just adding our meatballs with our chicken broth at a simmer still, we're gonna let these cook through. Should take about five minutes. Showing you Rachel's book again, Rachel Ray, 50th. Really check into this, but like I said, we all love our dogs and she has a whole spiel about her dog Boots and her dog Isabel. 
They're adorable. Uh, really, I don't want to spoil it, so read it, but I love you, Rachel. I just love you. Thank you for always thinking of the dogs and being such an inspiration to me. After five minutes, we're gonna add our pasta in. Penny, here's the birthday girl. She smells it. Rachel Ray, this is Penny. She is our birthday girl today. And we're making your recipe for this for baby beautiful. <laughs> we're making this recipe of yours for Miss Penny here. Thank you so much. Are you excited, Penny? Because I sure am. It's looking good. Getting my noodles in there for about six to seven minutes, al dente, and we gotta cool it down for the pooches. You cannot serve it hot, because that's gonna hurt. So that was about six to seven minutes. This is how it's supposed to look. It's still really hot, so I'm gonna plate it, let it cool down for a bit, and then we'll take a bite. So I've plated Penny's here. We'll plate mine after, but this is what it's supposed to look like. I cut it up, I'm gonna let it cool down. If you want, add an ice cube to it, but it might alter the taste, so I'm just gonna let it settle for about five to 10 minutes, and then we're gonna sing Happy Birthday to Penny. So I've plated both, I'm letting them cool down, especially Penny's. For the humans, we are gonna season with a little more Parmesan and salt and pepper. Give some cheese to Penny, of course, too. Happy birthday to you. Sit down, please. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Penny. Happy birthday to you. Yes. Blow out your candle. Look. Happy third birthday, my dear. Let's try this feast. There you go, Mayor. There you go. We might have to let her on the table for this one. Up we go. Oh, dear. Okay. Rachel Ray, are you seeing this right now? Whoa. Slow down, girl, slow down. And she likes it. Happy birthday, Penny. I think it's good. Third birthday on the kitchen table, eating her dinner. That's my Penny. You like it? Is it good? I wasn't expecting that. Butter buds. Definitely a fur baby like. You're making a mess. She's like, it's my birthday, I don't care. Spoiled at three. This is three. Well, butter buds, I think that was a success. Can you see the bowl? Not much left. I'd like to try some too, you know. Happy third birthday, Penny. Thanks, Rachel Ray, for this great recipe. My dog loved it. You butter buds gotta try it. I'll see you soon because Halloween is coming. Boo, boo, boo. boo. See you soon.